the truth. Hello guys, Chikanana is back with another video and I'm here to address anyone out here who thinks it's fine and very sweet to go out and harass a specific actress simply because they're just doing their job. Wait, really? I remain disappointed with the Attack on Titan fandom every year as I continue to stay as a fan. Oh my fucking god. Guys, you can't... You can't fucking harass someone for doing their job as an actor or actress. In fact, you can't condemn someone for like a fictional person's action. It's... Guys, come on, come on, come on. We all know better. You see this shit, you cancel those folks immediately. Like, fucking just stop that. So, if you don't know the situation, basically, uh, Yana Sakura, who did the voice of Gabby from Attack on Titan, has been receiving death threats for no reason at all. And she's doing a character that is out of her control, and she had to do the character, she had to voice the character. And that's simply how it is. So, basically, in the show, she killed off as one lovable character that everyone fell in love with, and I'm not gonna specify who it is because it is hard to say the least. I don't want you to guys go freaking crying on me. Just ask me, why did you just say this to me? Like I said, I don't want to spoil this for you. So, anyways, Ayana Sakura is a voice actress who is also who's known for voicing the character Ochaka Uroraka from My Hero Academia, Tsubaki from Your Lion April, and Kokowa from Is Your Little Rabbit. Honestly, this is the only characters I know that she is voiced, but come to the looks of it, she has gained some recognition. And now we have this. Very freaking ridiculous. There have been saying how they want to assault Gabby. Keep in mind, the character Gabby is 12 years old, and she is not a real character. So how are you going to do that anyway? Would you just find an item in your house and just pretend that you're doing it with her or something? That's just so gross. What did I even say it on YouTube? This is my problem with this. This is too freaking childish. If you don't like the character, if you don't like Gabby, well, that's perfectly fine for you, and it, as long as you're enjoying the show. That's just fine. If you don't like what the character does, you don't like her actions, you don't like her personality, perfect. That's perfectly fine. You, you don't have the right to go out and harass other people. You don't have the right to go out and harass a specific actress for something that is out of her control. She didn't develop the character. She only voiced the character. This takes me back to the Star Wars Syndrome. Now, I may kind of make this up, but to me, it's the Star Wars Syndrome. Where, you know, you have one specific character you just outright hit and you blame the actors for what- for this? Very ridiculous. Blame the writers, blame the directors. Shenanigans, like, come on. If you hate how, how the- how one specific actor, let's say, uh, Leo DiCaprio is doing, blame the director. If you hate how the character is, blame the writers. So, you could go out right and blame Hajime Isayama. I don't really care for me. And his defense, it's not really his fault either because he's just doing how he wants the story to progress. If you don't like how he is taking that trope, you know, that's okay. You know, everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has their own taste of their own path when it comes to, you know, pressing on the show forward. It's very ridiculous how people think they think it's fine to go out of their way to harass a specific actress for no reason whatsoever all she's doing is her job it's all a part of entertainment either you like it or you don't if you don't like if you start to dislike the show altogether mainly because of one event then you're just basically wasting your time that's all i had to say don't be stupid don't be stupid and if you don't want to support the show find something else to watch find something else to entertain that, that entertains you. Probably go watch some hens wearing ties or I don't know just looking at octopus's tentacles if you know what I mean. All I have to say is that you know the Attack on Titan fandom is pretty toxic and I'm not those one of these people that get so sucked into the point you just want this to happen want this to happen and if someone doesn't agree with your opinion don't freaking attack them. You could disagree with these say but don't attack them. It's literally infantile for everybody. It's, it's, it's just stupid to me. So, 
I don't want to lose more brain cells and I kind of get easily frustrated when I stutter because I don't really talk so much that's why I prefer writing scripts but in this case I had to go I need to say certain things unscripted I need to get it off of my chest anyways that is all I had to say about this dumb old drama that is shouldn't be that should have never existed to begin with Ayane I'm so sorry for what they've been saying to you you know you don't deserve this much hatred and if you left the show because of all of this, I completely understand why. But don't let it get to you. Keep on doing what you're doing. It's your job, you know. Be happy that you have a role. Be happy you have a job. Everything is fine. So, gambatte. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really speak that much Japanese, but that's all I had to say. Good luck.